We turn now to Ginger Duggar, who rose to fame with her parents and siblings on TLC's reality series, 19 Kids and Counting. And she's now sharing her decision to pull away from her strict upbringing in her new book, Becoming Free Indeed. She sat down with Juju Chang to discuss it. Hi, Juju, good morning. Good morning to you, Rebecca. You know, Ginger Duggar says growing up in a fishbowl was both a blessing and a source of pain. So after years of reflection and studying the Bible, she says she now rejects some of the strict teachings her family was famous for. She says the rules are not just misguided, they can be harmful. Where are the Duggars? For the millions of fans of 19 Kids and Counting, Ginger Duggar's life seemed idyllic as the dutiful fourth daughter in a pious household. But now the married mom of two rejecting what she says was oppressive rules that dictated her childhood. There was a lot of fear, rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Women weren't allowed to work out in the house. Mm -hmm. No yeah. loans, no yeah. pants, mm -hmm. no rock and roll. Yeah. Volo writing Becoming Free Indeed, my story of disentangling faith from fear about her departure from the strict Christian teachings that she says caused her to suffer from perfectionism, eating disorders, and panic attacks. I would say it has a lot of characteristics of, like some people would say it's a cult, right? But I can't say because I'm not an expert on that, but I would say it has a lot of similarities because it's so hard to leave. The Duggar family, devoted followers of the Institute in Basic Life Principles, founded by Minister Bill Gothard, Vuolo now renouncing his philosophies. I thought it was all true, all these teachings from this man I had followed. It was a teacher that I grew up thinking was teaching me the Bible, and I thought that his words were the words of God. And it wasn't until I got older I stopped and started to examine his teachings. I mean, you refer to him almost as a false prophet. Yeah, I would say so. He's definitely a false, false prophet, false teacher. Initially, um, he comes on the scene with the answers to life's biggest problems. Gothard resigned in 2014 after sexual harassment allegations made against him by young women followers. What was your emotional reaction to those accusations? Oh, my, my heart was just broken. Gothard, who was never charged with a crime, calling the accusations false, telling ABC News the thought of harassing someone is totally foreign to my nature. It would never have happened. You also point out that this hypocrisy mm -hmm. mirrors the hypocrisy of your own brother, mm -hmm. who yeah. committed his own set of yeah. unspeakable sins yeah. and crimes. Sorry, I just, it's hard to talk about. I know that um, that's a whole nother thing. It's just, it is difficult to talk about, but, um, yeah, I, I talk a little bit about that in the book and how my heart just breaks for the victims and their families and also just, um, yeah. for all the, tr the trail of, um, pain that's been left behind. Her oldest brother, Josh Duggar, now serving 12 years for possession of child pornography. When the sentencing came down, you spoke up and condemned your brother's behavior mm -hmm. by calling it a horrific evil. Mm -hmm. Have you talked to him since he was incarcerated? No, I haven't. No, I, I haven't spoken to him. Um, I think the best thing I can do is just pray for him. Ginger says she is still a devout Christian and still in touch with her parents whom she loves. When I asked about birth control, she said simply, just because kids are a blessing from God doesn't mean you have to have as many as possible. Ginger's book goes on sale tomorrow and I'll have more on Nightline. Rebecca? Wow, what a journey and a powerful conversation. Thank you, Juju. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.